Hey everybody, it's me Nez. Happy Sunday. I'm reading from Revelation chapter 12. Let's start from 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Now, I wanted to speak on this because many times when I've heard this verse, um, you know, they say overcome by the blood of the lamb. Yeah, you know, the blood of Jesus. And then, then the, when they get to the word of their testimony, it's like encouraging people, hey, share your testimony in church or with people, what God has done in your life. And it's really, really with an emphasis on like the miracle signs and wonders that God has done um, for you. And that in you sharing that, people can connect to that and, 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 you know, and just to remember that God is faithful, that he will do it for me too. Like something that they've been praying for a while. Okay, now I'm believing you, God. You've done in this person's life. You can do it for me too. So it's really like an emphasis on the acts of God, right? <clears throat> and the acts of his, like his hands. Um, there's nothing wrong with sharing the goodness of God and what he has done in your life. And the miracles that he actually has done for you. But I feel like in this verse, it's really not about the miracles, signs, and wonders, and the acts of God in that sense or in that regard. <clears throat> so, and I was just thinking about it, and I think the Lord was just trying to tell me that, hey, look again at this verse, and let's dive, like, have a deep dive in what that testimony is. Is it really sharing your testimonies, like, like generically about what he, um, like, miracles and things like that? Because let me tell you, like in, in, in Revelation, the time where the Antichrist is going to come um, onto the scene and um, <clears throat> he's going to perform signs and wonders, right? And we know that's not um, loser to deceive people to thinking that, oh, he's a supernatural person. Wow, you know, and kind of like you know, he's otherwise this otherworldly <laughs> creature and... Um, but just, you know, he's satanic of the devil, but it's deceptive, right? Just like in, 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 um, in with Moses and Pharaoh, where Moses staff, he dropped to the ground, he turned into a snake. And then the, the, the uh, what do you call those people that this, the state, I don't know, soothsayers or the diviners, the, the, the others, they dropped their own staffs and they turned to snakes, but the snake, the staff, the snake that came from Moses' staff ate up, you know, swallowed the other snakes, right? So it's like the devil is doing a counterfeit type of thing. And, and but of course, God is the true, is the, he's the genuine, he's the real thing. Um, so it's going to be like so much similarity. So is it really about the act? Is it really about any of that? And even with the, the 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 word of God, that the Satan actually twists that, and so he will sh present something to you—a gospel which is not, it, which isn't another God. Which is how does Paul say it? That it's a it's another gospel, but really not another. It's meaning it's so similar. It's just it's just a slight you know alteration here and there. Which makes it false. Like any, any, any alteration or any um, twist of scripture, it just renders it null, right? It's it's not the it's not truly what God has said, right? He's questioning the devil. Also questions, he has God truly said and twist what God has said, and and. And, and the thing is, people are deceived by that. <clears throat> now, that is a huge tangent. Back to what I'm trying to talk about here. Um, let's go above. Verse 10, it says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And, and that's Satan. He is the accuser of our brethren. And they overcame him, Satan, by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Now, if we go to what like testimony means all right so we're going to the verse which is revelation 12 11 right here i've read that and testimony if we just open it up and just listen what testimony is in the greek 
it's Martyria. Um, don't know how to really say it. Strong's G thirty one forty one. Martyria. Martyria. Okay, so Martyria. <laughs> And it means a testifying, the office committed to the profits of testifying concerning future events. And uh, definition two, what one testifies, testimony before a judge. And then we can see down here, KJV translation, you know, it says witness. It means like witness, testimony, record, report. You know, who has believed our report, that our good report. And then we believe the record. Um, and we have a witness, uh, of of our being a child of, of children of God and of course of course we believe the testimony of Jesus Christ. These are just examples. And we go down here and it's so nice. I love first John. Okay. First John. Now that in fact that entire chapter five it talks about the witness, the uh the the record. Um so let's go to first John chapter five. We're gonna <clears throat> there if I can click on it uh, okay so here we are so let's whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God and everyone that loveth him that begeth uh, loveth him also that is begotten of him so we believe uh, in Jesus, we believe the gospel, and so we are born again, we are born of God, and we also love those who are born of him. We recognize the testimony that is in our fellow brother. By this, we know that we, we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. And if you go to First John chapter 3, it says, <clears throat> 3 and verse 23, and this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. So, and I believe that's where where John is referring to, believing in the Son of, um, in the name of Jesus and loving our fellow brethren. So it says, "For this is the love of God that we keep His uh, commandments, and His commandments are not grievous, and they're not. It's just we just have faith in, in Jesus. Um, it's not hard. You know, the gospel is very easy. Even a child can understand it." And so for what as whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So in, in Revelation, where we read, they overcame him by the blood of the, the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the, uh, their testimony, right? So this is and and we are overcomers in Christ Jesus. So for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world and the devil, you know, and all that all that goes with that. Um, we overcome the kingdom of darkness because we are born of God. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Our faith in Christ. Who is that who is he that overcometh the world? He's gonna answer it for us, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. This is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that beareth witness because the spirit is truth. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Remember, this is the same, the same word record, witness, testimony. It's the same marturia. Um, and the heaven, the Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And these are three that bear witness in earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his son. Let me just pause right there. Going back to that, you know, this is just to show that, that overcoming him, you know, this devil is not by just sharing it he can listen to you talk about like oh god has done this god has done that but it's really the witness of christ the spirit bears witness that we are children of god our identity of christ is what stands against the enemy it is our position in christ it is who we are in christ it is what he has done the finished work of of of, of god 
of Jesus on the cross. It's that work of God that he has done. The work of God that, the will of God and the work of God that we believe in his son. This, this wonderful miracle, that's the miracle that's being referred to that overcomes the devil. Because people, you know, because when, when things don't always um, go the way we want, and it's like, oh, this didn't happen. Oh, God, where are you? Oh, this and that. You know, and that's a separate issue. Um, but if it's about signs and wonders and these acts, that is not what, that is not what stands in the, um, the court of heaven. It's who is your advocate. It's not what, um, what signs and wonders have been done today or, you know, yesterday or in the future. It's not, it's not about the, the showy things or, or the acts. It's really not all about that. It's the, 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 the work of God, that one, I guess maybe that one act, the finished work of Christ on the cross, that is a testimony, um, that overcomes the evil one. Okay. And <clears throat> so let's move on. It says, I think verse 10. He that yeah, he that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. And who is that witness? That's the Spirit of the living God. He hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his son. And that record um that the Spirit of God bears witness to is that Jesus is the Son of God. Because remember when Peter it was like, who do you say that I am? You are the son of the living, you, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. You know, I, I'm, I'm probably not saying it verbatim, but he says that flesh and blood did not reveal that to you, but my father and, and, <clears throat> and the spirit and the son and, and the spirit of the father and the son are one. So this is, you know, that revelation, it, it's by the spirit that, he, that it was revealed unto him. The spirit of God. So it's that testimony. The spirit bears witness to who Christ is. And so because he believed not the record that God gave of his son. And this is the record. What is the record? That God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. Because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So the record is that God gave, has given to us eternal life, and that can only be found in Jesus, his Son. And he that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Okay? So it's like you need to be assured and be confident that you have eternal life, that the life found in Jesus, you know, alone, you've got it. You bear his testimony. You bear the witness of the spirit in you. And that is what, when you stand affir firmly in who you are in Christ, Right and the testimony, the word of the testimony that you have in Jesus, that you, you that is you putting Christ on. That is you putting the whole armor of God, which who is Christ, and you can stand. You've done all. You stand against the walls and the, and the of the, the walls of the enemy, um, and it's you know you stand on the you stand on the blood of Jesus Christ. You know that. <laughs> The blood of Christ is powerful. It is what cleanses us. The spirit of the blood help it, it cleanses our conscience so that we have no more con his, this blood purges our, us of our sins so we have no more consciousness of it. Right? And so he says, and this is a confidence that we have. Uh should I read the whole thing? I could read the whole thing. But I think I've read the set the 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 part that I really wanted to to juxtapose with the the passage in Revelation, um, 
Yeah, so this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his, his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him and so on and so forth. So this was just very interesting to think about because I've, I've used, I've heard rather that verse in Revelation used, um, you know, in a way that it was nice, you know, like, okay, yeah, we share, which is great. Share your testimony. Um, because I encourage us each, encourages um, our fellow brethren on, and just to remind ourselves that oh, God is God is very present in our lives and doing great things for each of us. Um, but the the gospel is is really what the what the devil um, is is actively and fervently fighting against, trying to corrupt it trying to deceive people to another gospel, another Jesus, another spirit that does not save. Um, and it's when we go back to the gospel, back to the truth of his word, that the, his blood really is, <laughs> is what saves us. You know, when Jesus said his blood that was shed on Calvary and that finished work that he did on the cross, and our test and the testimony of Christ that we have, that He is the Son of God, that He has given us eternal life, and we and we know that, and we are confident in our faith in Jesus. You know the faith of Christ that we have in us as a witness, the Spirit of God that abides in us. We are able to. We we have already overcome the devil, Satan, and his minions and his demons. Right. We, the kingdom of darkness has, stands no chance because we uphold the gospel. We have, we are, we are established in our faith. We are grounded in his word, in the love of God. We're grounded in what God has done for us and who he is. Um, so that I just, honestly, that is exactly what I wanted to share because um, I just something just didn't sit right where it's just you know all about the miracle signs and wonders because that's the Antichrist is going to do miracle signs and wonders, so to speak, and deceive many and deceive many. But those who who know, who have heard the gospel and have believed and stand um, firmly in their faith, not shifting to the right or the left. Not being swayed by um, every wind of doctrine, they stand firmly in the truth and are rooted in it. The, they are overcomers, right? Um, and um, it, it's in, it's it's in the court of heaven. We need our advocate. We need our. <laughs> Our witness, our our, the, our testimony. Jesus is standing as our witness, as our, as our, our, our as our, um, you know, that our, as our advocate, um, as our lawyer, I was going to say, but as our, our great high priest interceding for us and being that in between our mediator, that's the word I'm trying to say, as our mediator, you know, that to just testifying that he has reconciled us to the Father, that we have come by the by the way. He is the way. And um we are the sheep in his pasture, resting in him, and it's all the other ones that come by another door are thieves and robbers that try to, you know, steal away our 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 joy that we have in the Lord or to to steal away what we already have. Um, uh, he's trying to take our crown, like steal our crown away, right? So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Love you all. Bye.